This is Lina Bell. And this is the Cherry QQ Ice Cream. This is Cherry's answer to the Wuling Mini EV, which is quite hot right now. Cherry is one of the biggest car manufacturers, especially electric cars, in China. My name is Fei Yan and you're watching Rev China. At the front of the car, you have a big U-shaped front light. You have a bumper which is plastic, but having said that, this is plastic. This is also plastic. It is still plastic. And then on the side, you have a 12-inch steel wheel, I think. They're probably from a motorbike, which is quite thin. This pink and white color combination is from factory but all of these decorations from on the side which you see later on are aftermarket this is a fully electric car the charging port is right here it is as long as a man can jump it is as wide as my wingspan this sticker is aftermarket you have the door here which opens really wide which is the plot side because you can get in and out really easily on the back here you have the same u-shaped braking light and then you have a big spoiler right here with the back seat up there's literally no space whatsoever um, there is a space for me to put my arm in that's basically it but you can fold the back chairs down uh, separately which is surprising and then you have a large enough space to put whatever you're buying for the day Right, I'm now inside the car. As you can see, it's pink and white. These seats are quite sporty. Uh, it's definitely not leather. It's okay to the touch. It's soft and squeegee as well. I have a two-spoke steering wheel in front of me. There are some controls on the steering wheel. We have a digital driver's display which shows speed, your battery as well. This car has 30 brake house horsepower. On a full charge, it can go 170 kilometers, not to a 100. I don't know because uh, this car has a claimed top speed of 100 so I'm not sure whether we can get there actually. This car has also got a digital center display which is a touch screen. Unfortunately there is no internet connection in this car. If you want to use actually this satellite navigation in here you, have, you need to connect your phone to this car and then using your phone's internet. Uh, this car also comes with a parking camera, which is quite handy for the size of this car. And in the middle, right, there's not much here uh, apart from this air conditioning. And then you have a very simple swooping design here and all of these um, air vents on, in the middle on the, on the side. On the side, because the door is quite wide, you have a huge kind of storage place on the door bin. You can literally put a number of, I don't know, maybe five or six bottles of water in here. Although this car is a electric car, you still need to put your key in and then turn it on like this. This is probably borrowed from a petrol car to save cost. The handbrake is manual. Your controls for your windows are on here and then this is your gear switch there are only three gears you have your reverse neutral and drive although this is a mini car it still has a second row so let me show you how to get in there the switch for the seat here is manual so i just need to press it and the seat comes down stepping in right like this Right, I'm now sitting in the second row. I'm going to say um, this is surprisingly, I wouldn't say comfortable, but sitting here for me is okay for a short journey. And also there are two huge windows on the side. They have also given you a small window right here. Although there's no sunroof, it's definitely a lot light and airy than a lot of small cars at the back. My colleague here is 1.87 meters tall. Uh, I mean, he can fit in here. Uh, however, his knees are kind of outside of the car. You can't really close the doors. Right, I'm now uh, in the driver's seat. The wing angle outside is really brilliant thanks to the this huge windscreen. Well, huge uh, compared to the size of this car. 
and then you have also two big side mirrors as well which is pretty nice i have the air conditioning on as i said this car only has 30 horsepower so i'm now in the eco mode this car really struggles to get going right right okay now we only at like 30 kilometers power now 40 um 50 okay you get the g's but let me switch to the sports mode and see whether that makes any difference uh, the turning circle of this car is you know as you would imagine very small so this could be handy you know at tight parking place places let me switch to sports mode uh, and then give you maybe kind of a launch control and see how quick this, this car can go well it still struggles to get going but i think uh, you know with me sitting here air conditioning on and then also my cameraman on the side you can say this car is nippy uh, with the sport mode on uh, i think you know this is probably enough performance for you to kind of drive in the city if you want to carry any more passenger on the back you're probably going to struggle to overtake anyone sitting in this car kind of reminds me of the days where i was in thailand and sitting on a tuk tuk it's slightly better than that but you know you, you can probably feel everything going on on the road as i said just before the tires are probably from you know motorbikes so you get a lot of noise from the road and then also you get uh, some kind of a buzzing noise from the electric motor as well uh, but Oh, as a whole, I think driving this car in the city uh, on a day-to-day -day basis is okay, is doable. I'm not going to drive this car on the motorway. I mean, it's probably not safe to do so either. Mainly the buyers of these cars are female. So, you know, the um, colors of these cars are quite feminine. For example, you know, a lot of pinks and purple. But people do like to modify these cars as well. And at the back of me, there are two extreme examples. One of these is a SUV jacked up with wide body. And at the back there is a low riser. Uh, these are just two, you know, kind of examples of what people are doing to these cars. Well, this car costs starting from 30,000 RMB to about 50,000 RMB. So in terms of US dollars, it's from 4,000 US dollars to about 6,000 US dollars. And it's definitely not a luxury car, as you can see from you know, the previous clips, that the body is made almost of uh, plastic. But if you are someone who has recently graduated from school, or a mom who needs to do you know just shopping and sending your kids to the school i think this is probably the car for you it's cheap it's reliable it goes it's nippy i mean what more do you want for six thousand dollars